Dr. Osford creates a referral. Dr. Osford is in consultation with an elderly patient complaining of severe hip pain, which the doctor suspects may require a joint replacement. During the consultation, Dr. Osford can send an e-referral from within the Alberta Neck Care Portal. To begin, he selects a form for the referral by typing in the reason for referral. E-referral automatically matches the form to the reason for referral and clearly indicates the exclusions and requirements for the referral. The form is auto-populated with patient and referring provider information from Alberta Neck Care. The doctor checks that the patient information is correct and takes note of the patient's preferred method of communication, in this case, a cell phone number. Dr. Osford adds the recipient of the referral by sorting by approximate wait time and choosing the preferred location. To expedite the referral, he selects the next available appointment. He then takes a moment to complete the triage requirements for this referral. The required investigations are indicated in this section and all must be included or the referral will not send. Each reason for a referral has standard provincial requirements that have been determined in collaboration with both specialty and primary care. Dr. Osford can attach investigations directly from records contained in Alberta Net Care, and he can also attach external documents to the referral from his computer or hard drive. Once the investigations are attached, Dr. Osford fills in the patient's height and weight and the BMI is calculated. He also makes note of the patient's current pain medications. A surgical evaluation acuity tool is provided so that Dr. Osford can give specific information that will assist in the triage of the consult request. The receiving provider will use this information to determine the urgency of the referral and scheduling priority. The doctor takes a moment to make note of his patient's history of high blood pressure before confirming his demographic information which was populated from Alberta Net Care. Once Dr. Osford indicates the primary care provider information, the e-referral is complete and submitted. The entire process takes less than three minutes. The referral is received. At the Edmonton Musculoskeletal Centre, the triage nurse, Tracy, checks her e-referral dashboard for updates. She notes that there are seven new referrals. When Tracy chooses the triage list, she can see the details of all new referrals and can sort the list by any tab. Tracy selects Dr. Osford's consult request to review the details. She first checks the patient information provided and then scrolls down the form to check that the triage requirements are attached and complete. She takes a moment to open the attachments directly from the form to ensure that they are appropriate. The calculated BMI, the acuity tool, and the patient's medical history help determine the urgency of the referral and scheduling priority. Tracy has determined that, based on acuity, this patient is ready for booking and will be contacted to schedule an appointment. She uses the workflow tab to change the status of the referral to waiting for appointment. Dr. Osford checks the status of the referral. Back at the physician's office, Dr. Osford checks his e-referral dashboard. He notices that he has referrals that have been recently updated. He chooses the category and sees that his patient has been successfully triaged and is now waiting for an appointment. 